finna beat this face, okay? And we're gonna do a little story time. My husband cut my hair last night because today it is Halloween and it is my birthday, okay? Yay! Yes, 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 yes. So I was like, I wanna look cute on my birthday. Let me put, you know, put some makeup on, do a few pictures or whatever. You guys are gonna see um, a behind the scenes video as well um, of us making like kind of the photo shoot for my birthday. But anyways, right now we're about to get into this makeup and into this story time. So before we get any further, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments that you are a new binge base so you can get a shout out in the next video, okay? Guys, I've been gone, okay? I've been gone for a minute, but there's a reason. Hold on, I got stuff all on the floor in my handy dandy makeup thing. And of course I use Fenty, but I don't have my right shade. I don't, so I mix them. But how have y'all been? I've been good, you guys. I've been debating on really doing this video. I was like, you know what, I'm doing makeup anyway. I might as well make it a story time about what happened to me. I've been kind of referencing it in a few of my videos, but um, never really going into depth about it. But let me get everything I need out so that I can just talk and not be too distracted. Okay guys, so it's my, my birthday, my 38th birthday. Sco hashtag Scorpio season 38. That's, those are the hashtags I'm using on social media. So if you're looking for my posts, they will be, look for those hashtags. Hashtag season, I'm sorry, hashtag Scorpio season 30. But guys, there's a reason why I have not been posting that much. I just couldn't bring myself to post because I need y'all's advice. So about, so about six weeks before October 17th, which is... The first week of September, okay? I'm scrolling through my Facebook, right? And I see one of my Facebook friends, which I don't know him, but I just saw this post where he's talking about he's a whole OBGYN. He has this teacup Yorkie. And you see it's a video of this pregnant dog. Coming soon. We got puppies. We got chitties. And she's about to have a litter. And he's just kind of saying, I'm a whole OBGYN. Babies. There's a big mom in there. Come on, push out some more, okay? Mom and her pups or something like that. I'm gonna put all my receipts on this video somewhere so you can see what I saw. So so I um, saw a lot of people commenting on it saying, save me a puppy, save me a puppy, I got you. He's, he's responding to the people, I got you, DM me, I got you. DM DM me, DM me, DM, right? So I DM him and I say, hey, I'm interested in um, a girl. I'm interested in a girl, um, Teacup Yorkie. And he's like, okay, bet. It's a $250 deposit. And, um, the, you know, the girls are $1,000, but there's a $250 deposit. And then you just give the rest in cash upon pickup, right? And they were born and all that. Like he showed like the mother, another video of the mother licking the new baby and everything. And I'm just like, oh, you know. So he's like, oh yeah. Um, in six weeks, which is the legal time when you can buy a dog, you know, we can set up a time to meet in six weeks, which will be September, no, I'm sorry, October 17th. So I'm like, cool. So I gave the 250. He's keeping me abreast. I, I said, do you mind sending me videos and or pictures every week just so I can see the progress and just keep me up to date? Because I've been scammed before and I'm not, I'm not finna do that. Oh no, you know what, better yet. He, he said, oh yeah, he's gonna um send me, you know, these updates and all this other stuff. And, and how about we just do it? He suggested a daggone contract, right? My makeup is a mess and I don't even use it that often. You would think that I was a makeup artist judging by this stuff. You would think. So what I do is I mix it on here. Completely not professional and not nothing I've ever seen before. But anyways, he says, how about we just do a contract? I say, cool. No red flag. Contract? Of course. Because once the scammer gets the... Okay, usually a scammer, once they get the money they want from you, which I had already deposited the 250 they get ghosts, right? They they disappear from off the face of social media. Like you never even talked to anybody and you it was a figment of your imagination. That's what normal scammers do. He didn't end the scan, okay? So we went on for six weeks. Him letting me know, him, oh, 
like volunteering this information. Oh, they went for their AKC shots. They going back, this, that, and the third. They got their tails docked. I mean, he is really going for it. <laughs> Giving me all the tea on my new little baby. On my little teacup, my new little teacup. Ciao. He said to me video. Oh, I told him to send me a video where he's saying my name. To baby G, look at the mommy, mind my business. Say good morning, Blake. Hi, baby G. That's a baby G. I still good. In the video with the doll, he sent this video that's like, hey, Blake, here's a little dog. Da -da -da -da. He's just talking. Now that I think about it, people can do voiceovers. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I thought, okay. Next time, Here's a tip. Next time, make sure they put a piece of paper with your name and stuff on it with the item that you're buying because people are crazy. They go too far. They go extremely too far. So I'm talking to this man for six weeks. He's updating me, sending me pictures. He's, um, he's keeping me updated on the shots. I look crazy. I forgot how to put on makeup. Please forgive me because I look crazy. He's sending me all this information. He said, I'm going to start you off. He said, when you pick her up, okay, I'm going to start you off with some food so you don't have to get. And I and I recommend, he gave me recommendations. I recommend this, that, and the third, and this, that, and the third. And like, for real, like very overly accommodating. I was just like, oh, I feel so good. I have a contract, okay? And it was a good setup because it was like, you only give 250 and then you give the rest when you pick the dog up. That doesn't sound scammy. You know what I'm saying? Ciao. The day I'm supposed to pick the dog up is um, September. No, I'm sorry. I keep saying September. October 17th, okay? First, it was the 16th because he said, oh, you can get it because it, it was a Friday. And he said, oh, you can get it right now. You can get it right now. I just got to get her a couple more shots. And we could do this tonight. This is the night before we were actually contractually obligated to do it. The 17th. We were trying to plan to do it on the 16th. He's like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give me a room at the MGM. And I'm going to stay out there. And da 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 da. He doing all this, all this information. He's like, you know, I can bring it to you. Never give anybody your address. That's one thing I will not do. On the contract, it had a it had this line for your address. Do you think I filled it out? Comment below. Do you think I filled it out? Okay. 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 The answer is no. Okay, I didn't fill that out. See, I I I'm very leery about scammers, but this was a good one. This one's a good one. Sorry, it was a good one. He went on for six weeks. Who goes on for? Si who goes on for six weeks? Come on now. Who goes on for six weeks? Come on. It fell through that Friday because he was still at Banfield. He kept saying, I'm at Banfield, I'm at Banfield. I had to look it up to figure out what the hell he was talking about. So I looked it up and Banfield is a veterinary, uh, a veterinary hospital out where he, Glen Burnie, he kept saying he's from Glen Burnie, whatever. He was like, oh, I took too long at um, Banfield. We'll just do our, our regular day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, that's what happened. And I'm going to insert these receipts. <sighs> then I didn't hear nothing else from him. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just wait till tomorrow because tomorrow's a new day. And that is actually the contractual day. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still a little bit leery. Until I have the item that I'm purchasing, I'm not going to be comfortable. It's just not going to happen. So, because I don't, people is too scammy. It's 2020 and people is scamming out the wooza. Come on now. Like, people are really messed up. You know, people are desperate out here. And they just doing anything. So, be careful out there, you guys. So, Saturday approaches. Well, Saturday is the next day. And I, um, I hit him. Because I ain't hear nothing else. He said he was at, the last time I heard from him, he was at the veterinarian's office, right? So, I hit him and was like, good morning. Something like, I'm going to put the exact stuff up here. Good morning, um a new day let's try it again or something like that it's a new day let's try this again and he was like oh yeah bet this the this the day we're supposed to meet anyway so this the original day anyway bet um i just gotta get he had to go back to the veterinary i think it was the veterinary's office or something he had to go back there or something 
and he'll bring the he'll bring the dog all the way to me and I kept telling I kept telling him to meet like way away from my house because I'm not stupid right oh no if it gets too late I could just um just give me you know what where, 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 where does your husband work where is this what is that I'm like you ain't gonna know none of that we're gonna meet at the change of outlets how about that so I thank God that I am like literally like that and I I owe that to my parents and how they raised me you know I'm just very leery about people period so he's telling me uh he's keeping me updated this is the day that i was supposed to meet my baby right and so i had my mother come over to babysit the kids it was gonna be a big surprise because the kids had no idea and i didn't tell the kids so they're only gonna know because of this video i didn't tell the kids because you don't tell kids first of all i'm the type of mom even if i'm doing something fun for the kids i don't tell them they're doing something fun until they're on the way to the fun or till we get there because kids are like are we gonna do that when are we gonna get what uh-uh uh-uh you don't tell kids nothing you just kidnap them and take them and then it's a surprise every day is a surprise for them that's so they don't get on that's just so they don't get on your nerves to keep your peace okay so that's my little that's little, my little tip for parents don't tell kids nothing because sometimes things don't go through you know what i'm saying or you don't feel like it whatever so you don't tell you always my kids are always being surprised because kids will blow you so i had my mother over here to watch the baby you know watch the kids and i was like so excited to meet my little baby so this man is telling me oh i'm leaving banfield now this is saturday afternoon and he's telling me where well, yeah, i'm up georgia avenue or somewhere new hampshire avenue something if you'll see it on the screen I just dropped off to I'm on New Hampshire Avenue. I'm on my way to your end. This was like three or four o'clock in the afternoon. I had not heard from this man for the rest of the day. I'm thinking this nigga didn't die. Is he dead? I cannot. He did not try to make off with $250 for six weeks of lies. $250. Then you just got to say, you know what? I'm going to pray for him because he clearly needed it. Okay. If he wanted to scam me for $250. And, and, but the part that, that irritates me most is not the money, is that you kept going on with it for six weeks. Like, cuckoo, cuckoo, like something weird about you. Like, there's something very weird. Um, or it might be something very desperate. I'm an empath, so, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, I understand people be desperate, but, like, stealing from your own is terrible it's still in period and they're still from your own it's and you don't know what kids were affected by this you don't know if i even told my kids but you wasn't thinking about that and it looks like you have kids i don't know but anyways so i haven't heard from him since earlier that day october 17th he he didn't delete his profile okay he he just never responded to any you know my text when i was like are you all right like he just never responded. Now, this is probably what made me do this video now. Because I was thinking about it. I was like, no, yeah, no, yeah. But the man, and I didn't unfollow him because I wanted to get as much information I needed to get off his page. Just in case, like, my mother was like, you need to take him to small claims court. I don't know. Should I comment below? Let me know. Would you put, would you take him to small claims court? It's the principle. It's not so much about the $250. It's just like... Why would you do a sister like that and you a brother? Or who are you? You Your pictures might be your brother and you might be somebody completely different. Who knows? Um, He just was MIA ghost. He was not posting on social media for like two weeks. He just started posting again this week. Okay? This week. And like nothing happened. And still my friend. And I'm seeing his stuff on, on my, what you call it? Because I haven't blocked him yet. I want to post this on my social media first. Then I'm going to block him and get whatever information I need first. Then I'm going to block him. And then I'm going to decide whether I need to um, just let it go or um, or sue his ass. That was like that. Because, oh, let me tell you, I got this dog a bed. This bed, the dog's bed is here. I'm inserted right here. It's very cute. It's a TP bed, okay? I got this dog. Cute little bowls. They're here. Like, I have all these things. I had my mind, like, made up that I was going to have another dog. You know what I'm saying? 
and I'm just glad I didn't tell my kids because it won't be such of a big a big um letdown you know what I'm saying they'll just see this video and be like oh and feel bad that we probably that we got scammed but if you guys know of any reputable people that have um teacup teacup yorkies the biggest they can get is five pounds so teacup yorkie girl i am very grateful comment below if you know anybody but yeah i'm about to finish up my makeup you guys <sighs> tell me what y'all think down in the comments below should i make you know should i go through litigation you know should i call judge judy you know and do a quarantine you know judge courtroom show or what should what should i do you know what i'm saying because i've already looked up this person's um or the person that they're faking to be i don't know but that person's record and everything so that's why i was trying to see if they are scammers but the charges that they had previously wasn't scammer type charges it was like you know other stuff my parents this is their first time calling me it's my birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Blake. happy birthday to you is this a sick joke Yes. No. Look how late y'all calling me at 11.52 calling me to wish me happy birthday. Because it's just not like y'all to not hear y'all the first thing in the morning. I know. Sorry. They play too much. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed that video or if it made you mad like it made me mad or did it make you sad because I had all this cute stuff for me, baby. <laughs> Anyways, guys, comment below. Tell me what you think I should do. If you're new binge bay again, let me know in the comments below. And I will shout you out in the next video. I'll insert some pictures of my finished look because I just got so wrapped up in telling y'all this story that I've been debating on telling you guys, but I'm glad I told you guys. Anyways, guys, binge on something positive, you guys. Stop scamming. And we'll see you in another video. Guys is on the beat.